Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Empress Radio. So today's video is about Ariane Curry lying about knowing that Martel was married when, when they first met. Before we get into that, thank you guys who subscribe to my backup channel, Empress TV. So we're almost there. We just need 200 subscribers. Okay, so anyways, Martel recently did an interview that you guys know on Fox Soul. You guys could see the full little segment on my backup Empress TV. But yeah, so we were just talking about how Martel explained the way that he met Ariane. He said that Melody pretty much told him to get a girlfriend. So that same night, he went and found Ariane Curry and he told her he wanted to be his girlfriend. And the panelist asked, oh, um, did she know you're married? Martel was like, yes, I always wear my ring, you know. But if you guys remember back to Tasha K. She told Tasha K that in the interview with Tasha K that they didn't sleep together for like nine months and then she found out he was married around that time. Always lying. I told you guys she's like a big liar. My ex-wife um, rejected me. Well, considering that, you know, I was married for like 12 years. So some of the things I will discuss, it will pertain to, you know, my, my previous marriage or whatnot. And there was a lot of rejection going on there. And I guess some of the ways we really can't um, dictate how we're going to retaliate. And one of my retaliations was, again, you know, I spoke about it earlier, was, was me cheating. And, and I feel that, though cheating is wrong, but I feel that that rejection that I was receiving, it seems as if I had no, ladies don't get mad, but it seemed like I had no other option but to, but to be out, almost, you know, because I felt that I had the discussion with her on things that she wasn't doing. Um, it's not like I was um, a stay-at-home husband. No, I was the breadwinner within my, my marriage. I was like the dominant parent and things of that nature too. Um, but then, you know, it's like you're not cooking and, and I can't have sex when I want it. And so that really pushed me out the door. But again, like I said earlier, I can't point the finger all at her. I have to look back at me of the reason that she was rejecting me. And, and so I'm going to ask you not to cut you off, but how long did you contemplate stepping out before you actually did it? Because that's not something that you decide in a moment's time. There were some things that it's transpired. Crazy. I'm so sorry, but it's crazy that you say that because the, the night, the, fir the first time that I, I met that particular person, it was the night that my ex-wife was supposed to go to me to a barbecue. We got into it that night. She was on a, on a computer in the bed, and she made this statement to me. We got into it. She said, go out there and find your girlfriend. She said, I mean, I mentioned she was on the show. You know, she admitted to it and all that, but she said, go out there and find your girlfriend. As she was up in the bed on her computer. And um, I'm like, wow. So honestly, that got into my spirit, apparently, because that night I went... <laughs> I met the girl, I told, I told her, I said, listen, I want you to be my girlfriend. That's what you said? I said, I, yeah. And I, I, I told her that night, I said, look, I, I want a girlfriend. And I told her X, Y, Z. And- Did you tell her you were married though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did, I did. I always don't, want Don't nobody care if y'all married? Okay, don't I nobody care? Her. They don't. That's always, always want my ring. Yeah, always want my ring. And, um, I mean, I know it wasn't a good thing, um, but at the time, you know, that for me, that was, that was comfort. You know, there was someone um, respecting me as, as a man and things of that nature. Someone really listened to me, somewhere, someone that really catered to me. Right. And uh, apparently at that moment, that's something I was searching for. Somebody stroke your ego? Hell yeah. I needed that shit. So yeah, Ariana is seemingly responding to Martel calling her the 15%. Man, he didn't even give her 20, like the 80-20 rule. He gave her 15%. Um, she was capable of doing it from the beginning, uh, but I guess just the emotions, the feelings and things of that nature, whatever I was giving or not giving at that time was the actual response, you know? Um, so, and, and I guess the response was, I mean, I'm not doing certain things to satisfy him because of what I was doing or what, what I was not doing. So one or the other. I just asked him that question off camera. Did he think that his wife, because he said that his, your side piece only really gave you like 15, 20% of what you were missing? Yeah, I look at you, a producer up here. Okay, go ahead. No, I'm just, that's, yeah, that's correct, no, right? No, that's, that's accurate. Your wife was giving you 80%, but you were willing to risk that for 15 or 20? I think that was very foolish um, of me to, to do such a thing. 
Um, but at that time, I'm not thinking like, oh, my wife doing, giving me 85% and she's giving me 15 or whatever. I wasn't thinking like that. So, I mean, if I would have thought like that, I would have been like, hell no, I want that damn 15%. I'm going to stick in this house and sit my ass down somewhere. But that wasn't the case. Um, I, I think that I just wasn't, I wasn't thinking. Yeah. But you know what? So she said it only takes one good year to completely change your life. Make this one. And then she also says we're being presented with a choice. Evolve or remain. If you choose to remain unchanged, you will be presented with the same challenges, the same routine, the same storms, the same situations until you learn from them, until you love yourself enough to say no more, until you choose to change. If you choose to evolve, you will connect with the strength within you. You will explore what lies outside the comfort zone. You will awaken to love. You will become, you will be, you will have everything you need. Choose to evolve, choose love. So yeah, that's what Ariane said, but it seems like she's not evolving. Just last week, she was shading Melody. So this is what she had to say to Melody. Said, After leaving family vacation and catching COVID, then him slipping up, calling you my name. I know you double sick, hashtag double sick you know and then she took 25 percent off so martella didn't even give her 25 percent. you know he said that she was 15 so that has to hurt after seven years of you know being faithful to a man even foolishly faithful even though he's married how do you be faithful to a married man you know but yeah after seven years and then thinking he was going to leave his wife and then he finally well the wife left him and he's still not with you he's not claiming you he's he refers to you as that girl or you know the other woman He's called you peasant. Now he's saying you're 15%, you know. I would be embarrassed, you know. You should be embarrassed. But, yeah, so what do you guys think about this? Drop your comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos from Empress Radio. Show. Okay, bye. Because now you got all these people in your business who are giving their opinions yeah. and putting stuff in your head. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think things um, really heighten once we really get on TV. Okay. You know, and um, a narrative. So you, w you went to this show knowing you had an affair. And you, it was probably going to play out on TV. Well, no. Or did no. You, th you thought she was going to be able to hide it. Well, well, it wasn't about hiding. Um, at, at times, I mean, I did stop. <laughs> you follow me? So at times, I, I did stop cheating because, again. It... But wasn't the show initially, oh, like, my, my assistant is a major fan. Oh, Lord. The show wasn't initially all about their marriage. It didn't start out that way. From what I understand, first season, it started yeah. out about business and yeah, real, right. estate real estate. And, exactly. and then the, the marriage issue started getting ah. so popular, and it, that took over. Communication comes in, guys. You oh, but, but you were communicating for seven years. No, 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 no. So, <laughs> hey, you guys got to go back and watch that goddamn show. <laughs> so so I, I communicated, and my thing was, I told her what she was not doing for me. And, and my thing was, she told me on the show, she said, what you should have done, you should have grabbed me and set me down and you should have told me that if you don't take care of me, I'm gonna go out and cheat on you. So she expected me just to be that transparent. But I feel that if, a, if I come up to you like, hey, listen, you need to start having sex with me, like we ain't had sex in a week or whatever, you know? Or you haven't cooked and you know, it's me and the kids, so I'm having to go out and get something to eat. I shouldn't have to. Can I ask you a question? Well, as why, soon as he why, grab why her and sit her down, he's gonna be on Hollywood Unlocked because he didn't put his hands on her, so. But see, but then so, what, what, why didn't you? Cause no, we no, always no. have the option to leave before it gets to that point. No, so. No, I'm sorry, but listen, so communication. So I feel that if she wasn't being fulfilled. I feel that she should have communicated that to me as well. And I feel that that's where we was lacking at right well, there. Well, you know you what, on the show, cause I did watch some of it. Yeah. I heard you communicate to your wife on a numerous occasions, but there was something that I saw, like she wasn't listening to you. She just didn't, she told you, she told you what you was going to do. Yeah. It was, and you, you just look, you would just listen, <laughs> but you, your wheels was turning. Yeah. And I think she took the relationship for granted. Yeah. I really yeah. believe that. I think yeah. she got comfortable and she just, cause he's a, a excellent father. Like they have four beautiful children and he was at home with the children while she was do chasing her career. Yeah. And I was sitting here and I'm like, well, she just like with the play situation on season two. Yeah. Cause I watched season two cause that's where it started to like boil over. So she said, you said, why are you going to do this play? You just were living, you know, what we've already experienced. And she was like, I'm going to do the play and you're going to support.